L. Elmore, president and founder of the Proud Black Buddhist World Association. We at the Proud Black Buddhist World Association teach the Buddhist teachings as prescribed by the messenger of the Buddha, that is the 13th century Japanese sage by the name of Nichiren. Nichiren means sun lotus and shonen means priest. So we follow the teachings of Nichiren Shonen who taught that the highest teachings of the Buddha Shakyamuni of India was the Lotus Sutra. And the way that we teach Buddhism or the way that we learn Buddhism is by following what is called the Gosho. The Gosho are letters that Nichiren Shonen wrote to his disciples. It's a very exciting time in Buddhism. In fact, we start the year of 2016 in the Proud Black Buddhist World Association and our theme for 2016 is insight and education. Our goal is to give you a deeper insight into Buddhism and also an educated perspective of the Buddhist teachings. Let's get into our lecture today. Now, our lecture today is called Nam Mu Myoho Renge Kyo, A Black Man's Explanation. Please understand that Namu Myoho Renge Kyo is the ultimate teachings of the Buddha, Buddha's messenger, Nichiren Shonen. Our organization teaches and follows the teachings of Nichiren Shonen. Now, the reason that we need a black man's explanation of the phrase Namu Myoho Renge Kyo because our Nichiren teachers in Japan, meaning the SGI, Nichiren Shoshu, and Nichiren Shu, and others teach in anti-black understanding of the Buddhist teachings. What you will find from the Asians, particularly from the Japanese Buddhist sects, is that they purposefully extricate all black history, culture, and language from their Buddhist teachings. The Japanese teach about the Buddhist chant, Namu Myoho Renge Kyo, or they may say Nam Myoho Renge Kyo. However, they teach a Buddhism with prejudice. Now, when any subject is taught with prejudice, the teachings are slanted, in most cases, not objective. When we teach a black explanation of Namu Myoho Renge Kyo, we provide a keen insight and an objective view that's inclusive of black culture, history, and language. Now, the most important point that black people should learn about Nam Mu Myoho Renge Kyo and about true Buddhism is the fact that true Nichiren Buddhism is not Mahayana Buddhism. When you study and learn about the Nichiren sets in Japan, the, it, what you will find from these organizations that they call themselves Mahayana Buddhists. Being a Mahayana Buddhist means they reject all black culture, history, and language from Buddhism. So, we explained to black Buddhists that although you learn about Nam Myoho Renge Kyo, you do so without prejudice from us at the Proud Black Buddhist World Association. Please understand that in the Go Show or the teachings of Nichiren Shonen, he explains a quote, the Nirvana Sutra. Now, the Nirvana Sutra and a sutra are the writings or the teachings of the Buddha Shakyamuni. 
Shakyamuni's last sutra, a teaching that he said before he died, it was called the Nirvana Sutra. Now, in a go show, it's called Repent Debts of Gratitude. Nitrin writes, in a scripture called the Nirvana Sutra, the Buddha says, quote, rely on the law and not upon persons. Rely on the law means relying on various sutras. Not relying upon person means not relying on persons other than the Buddha, such as the Bodhisattvas, Universal Worthy, and Majushra of various Buddhist teachers I have enumerated earlier. See, what Shakyamuni understood that after he died, there will be people who will try to come in and mix up the Buddhist teachings or put their own twist of the Buddhist teachings or try to make the Buddhist teachings appropriate it and make it their own. Well, what Shakyamuni taught us, he says, put faith in the law and not in persons, and we should follow only what was mandated to us by the Buddha Shakyamuni. It is Nitrin Shonen who teaches us that the highest teachings of the Buddha Shakyamuni was the Lotus Sutra, and we should only treat the Lotus Sutra as the correct Buddhist teachings. Now, when I look at black Buddhists around the world, many put their faith in, say, a Japanese leader like Daisaki Keita, or many in Nichiren Shoshu put faith in the high priest. Many in Nichiren Shu put their faith within the organization. We at the Proud Black Buddhist World Association never ask people to put faith in Anthony M. Elmore or our organization. We ask you to study the Go Show and put your faith in the words of both Shakyamuni and Nitrin Shonen. Now, in regards to our subject, Namu Myoho Renge Kyo, a black man's explanation, it is important that you understand that while the Buddhist sects, the SGI, Nichiren Shoshu and Nichiren Shu, and others call themselves Mahayana Buddhists, Shakyamuni Buddha rejected Mahayana Buddhism. As Buddhists, it is important that you understand that Mahayana Buddhism is the time in Buddhist history where Buddhism was separated by race, culture, and language. This is the time when not only Buddhism was changed, when the Buddha was changed from black to white, Mahayana Buddhism is the time when the language of Buddhism was changed from the black language of Pali or Paskit to the white language of Sanskrit. When you study the Sanskrit teachings of Buddhism, this means that all black history, culture, and language has been extricated. The spirit of Mahayana Buddhism means to get rid of black history, culture, and language. Now, let us look at what Nichiren writes about Mahayana and Hinayana Buddhism. Now, in the Go Show, it's called On Reprimanding Hachiman. It reads, quote, When the Buddha rejected Hinayana and replaced it with Mahayana, and when he rejected Mahayana and introduced his followers to the Lotus Sutra, he was rejecting different things. The Hinayana in one case and the Mahayana in the other. But his aim was the same in both cases namely to lead his followers to the Lotus Sutra. Now, Nitra makes clear that Shakyamuni Buddha rejected both Mahayana and Hinayana Buddhism and makes it clear that only the Lotus Sutra is the correct 
Buddhist teachings. It is important that we distinguish ourselves from Buddhist sects that teach a Buddhism other than the Lotus Sutra. Many of the Buddhists that, are, that you read out there and you learn about, they teach Buddhism other than the Lotus Sutra, which is provisional, or these are only what you call expedient means teachings. Now, the title of the Lotus Sutra is Myo Ho Ren Ge Kyo. Now, when we chant the title of the Lotus Sutra, we must understand the spirit of the Lotus Sutra. In the case of Mahayana Buddhism, Nitran teaches us that Shakyamuni's intent was to reject Mahayana Buddhism and lead people only to the Lotus Sutra. The Mahayana Buddhism is a problem for black people in that it extricates all black history and culture, whereas the Lotus Sutra teaches us that all of the non-Buddhist teachings are also Buddhist teachings. See, the Lotus Sutra is an inclusion of all of the teachings throughout the universe. Now, let me cite an example of America. We Americans are a nation of immigrants. We represent the world. When all people are represented, America is a better nation in regards to black people. America would not be the great nation that it is if not for the contributions of black people. Even though we black people were put into slavery for over 400 years and the hundreds of years of the Jim Crow laws, and even right today, there are more black men locked up in the jail or involved in the criminal justice system in 2016 than there were slaves in 1865. Now, the Buddhist teachings in America are mostly Mahayana Buddhism, and the teachings exclude black people as teachers and preachers. Look at the Buddhist sects in Asia. Most are Buddhist monks. In America, we have Buddhist teachers are not monks, and certainly we are not Asian. In the case of black Buddhists, we are black, Buddhist and proud. And today we are going to give you a black explanation of the term or the chant. Namu Myoho Renge Kyo. Now, we are proud black Buddhists. Now, we do not need the Nichiren Shoshu high priest to teach us what is Namu Myoho Renge Kyo. No, we need, nor do we need a Daisaki Kader or any Asian or any priest. We go right to the ghost show and learn what is the meaning of Namu Myoho Renge Kyo. What you must understand is the differences between the Mahayana explanation and the non Mahayana explanation. See, the Mahayana Buddhist attempt to make Namu Myoho Renge Kyo exclusively Mahayana. Mahayana teachings exclude all black teachings, history, and culture from Buddhism. The SGI, the Chinshoshu, and the Chinshu, and others teach that the word Namu is a Sanskrit word. Now, if you are a black Buddhist, and you are taught that the word nam or namu is a Sanskrit word, you are learning the Mahayana Buddhism, and that is not the Lotus Sutra. When Mahayana Buddhism was started by King Kanishka and Bodhisattva Avagosha around 150 AD, Mahayana Buddhism was devised to get rid of the black language of Pali. Now, it was King Kanishka, Kanishka and Bodhisattva Avagosha who started 
their own Ford Buddhist Council. When they started the Ford Buddhist Council, their intent was to change the Buddha from black to white. And what they did was King Kanishka started the Gahanra art, and he changed the Buddha to, to look more like Greek, and Ava Gosha changed the Buddhist writings from Paskit or Pali to Sanskrit. Along with those teachings, they took out all of the black culture, history, and language. Now, a new set of Brahmins uh, came up in India. They came up with the world's sanctified racism and they came up with India with what is called the caste system where caste means vulnerable or color and they judge you not by the content of your character but they judge you by the color of your skin and you was regulated to a caste. Below the caste system was a system lower than a caste which was called the Chandelas or the outcasts and they all were black people. And if you were Chandela, you were not even allowed to hear the sacred, what they call sacred Sanskrit language. In the laws of Manu, if a Chandela or a black person even heard the teachings of Sanskrit, molten iron was to be poured in his ears. If he ever quoted any Sanskrit or the sacred teachings, that they call Sanskrit or the sacred ver, uh, ver, uh, what is it? Vedic teachings, if he, if he just quoted, his tongue was to be cut out. Now, let us connect this history back to Namu Myoho Renge Kyo. Before the Sanskrit language was invented, people in India spoke a language called Paskit. See, Sanskrit is an artificial language that was started by the Brahmin by the name of Panini. Panini started Sanskrit and it later on, he synchronized it from Parskip and he created this language. And so about the time of Mahayana Buddhism, the whites of the upper caste or the Brahmins you spoke Sanskrit. So, but the blacks were not allowed to speak it. Now, in the teachings of the Buddha, and there is a teaching, uh, or except there's a teaching called Namo. There's a word in Paskip called Namo. Namo or Namo is the same word in that it means devotion. That's what it means. It means to devote. And this word has been around a hundred years before the people came up with Sanskrit and came up with their uh, word Namu. Now, Nitrin says, now, let us look at what Nitrin writes about this subject in the Go Show called The Gift of Rice. Nitrin writes, quote, In worshiping all the deities and Buddhas, the word Namu is put up ahead of their name. To explain exactly what Namu means, Namu is a word from India. In China, in Japan, it is translated as dedicated, dedicating one's life. Dedicating one's life means to offer one's life to the Buddha. In accordance with their status, some have wives and children, relatives, and feats and gold and silver while others have no treasure. Whether one has wealth or not, no treasure exceeds the one called life. That is why those sages, that is why those known as sages and worthies of ancient times offered their lives to the Buddha and then became Buddhas. Please understand that Sanskrit came about in the AD. The nutrient sets teach that the Buddhists the Buddha spoke Sanskrit, and this history is not correct. There is no archaeological, anthropological, literary evidence of any Sanskrit spoken before the time of A.D.
Now, nutrient sets, right, like the SGI, Nutrient Show Shoe, and Nutrient Shoe, they write that Namu is a Sanskrit word. Nitra never says that Namu is a Sanskrit word. Nitra says in the Gold Show that Namu is a word from India. Now, if you are black, you must understand that Namu is not a Sanskrit word. Namu was always used in ancient India. The Japanese attempt to connect Namu with Sanskrit in their attempt to make Nichiren Buddhism Mahayana or associated with Mahayana Buddhism that educates all black history. I, in 2013, was looking to join the Nichiren shoe set. And I looked on the books that was written, and they got this book called The Lotus Sutra. And when I read the book called The Lotus Sutra from Nichiren Shu, the author of the book mentions that sacred Sanskrit. Now, here you got a Japanese calling some Sanskrit sacred, but we at the Proud Black Buddhist call Sanskrit racist. Because black people were not allowed to learn it, they kept black people uneducated, dumb, ignorant to keep them in a level of slavery, and they used Sanskrit to cause a racial division and rift in Buddhism. And yet you got this Nichiren Shu teach, priest teaching that Sanskrit is sacred. Sanskrit is not sacred, Sanskrit is racist. The Buddha never spoke it, and so if the Buddha, if my relatives can't speak it, then them suckers, when it comes to Sanskrit, tell them they can keep it. I was a member of the SGI Buddhist organization, and I was a member of the Nichiren Shoshu organization. I was with both organizations, and when they split up, I went with the Nichiren Shoshu organization. Now, it is clear, I started Buddhism in 1974, and what my Japanese teachers taught me was, they taught me that Namu was a Sanskrit word. Now, as a proud black Buddhist, and as a Buddhist who followed the Gosho, that is not what Nitrin says in the Go Show. Now, Nitrin has a Go Show call on Namu. Nitrin writes, quote, For this reason, the names of all the various Buddhas are prefixed by the word Namu. Namu is a word of the language of India. In this country, it means to dedicate one's life. Explaining the term to dedicate one's life, Tentai says it means, quote, to single-mindedly dedicate one's life by offering their lives to the Lotus Sutra. They became Buddhas. And I, Nichiren, and now I, Nichiren, offering my life to the Lotus Sutra. Now, Nitrin Shonen is very, very, very clear that Namu is an Indian word. He never says that Namu is a Sanskrit word. Nitrin also explains Namu means offering our lives to the Lotus Sutra. Nitrin does not say offer our lives to the Dai Gohanza or Gohanza Nichiren is clear when he says and now I Nichiren offering my life to the Lotus Sutra see we at the proud black Buddhist world association follow the teachings of the Gosho of the writings of Nichiren the Nitrin says the SGI, Nitrin Shoshu, and Nitrin Shu, 
they don't follow the teachings of Nichiren. Nichiren never said that Namu was a Sanskrit word. It was only the Japanese sets who used this to promote Sanskrit and to promote Japanese imperialism because they want to teach you a Buddhism that educates all black culture, history, and language. Now, this is the part that we at the Proud Black Buddhists teach. We quote, single-mindedly dedicate our lives to the Lotus Sutra. That is what, what the word Namo means. Now, also, Nichiren writes in the Ghost Show, and it's called, How the Gods Protect the Place of Practice. It says, quote, the Buddha said, Namu means being awakened, being amazed and awakened. Please understand that the word Namu connects us black people to our language of Pali, or Paskit. Also, the word Namu means being amazed and awakened. Let us make sure that you get this. While Namu is an Indian word, the Buddha himself says, quote, Namu means being amazed and awakened. Please understand that Yo Ho Renge Cho is the title of the Lotus Sutra. However, it is the Hadi word Namu that brings it to life or creates a new dynamic. Please understand a significant difference between the way many of the Japanese sects teach Buddhism and the way we at the Proud Black Buddhist World Association teach Buddhism. The SGI entrap blacks by promising, or they entrap you by promising a car, a house, or material things. If they simply chant Nam Yo Ho Renge Kyo. The way we teach Buddhism is and encourage black people to gain faith in the Buddhist teachings is following the teachings of Shakyamuni Buddha as taught by Nichiren Shonen. Now, the question is how did the Buddha, Shakyamuni Buddha, teach us to gain faith in Buddhism. Shakyamuni did not tell us, oh, you're going to get a car, you're going to get a new house, you're going to get a boyfriend, you're going to get a girlfriend, and all that garbage the way the SGI teach. That is not what Shakyamuni, Shakyamuni did not teach us that, he didn't teach us that way to have faith. Now, Shakyamuni tells us how to have faith. Now, in the Go Show, it's called The Real Aspect of the Gohanzan. And Shakyamuni clearly teaches us how we should gain faith in Buddhism. And in the Go Show, The Real Aspect of the Gohanzan, it says, quote, The first volume of On Concentration and Insight says, quote, to believe in the perfect teachings means to awaken faith through doctrine and make faith the basis of practice. Shakyamuni Buddha taught that we gain faith in Buddhism by awakening faith through doctrine. We are teaching you about Namu Myoho Renge Kyo or awakening your understanding of the doctrine. See, this lecture is a detailed explanation of the words Namu Myoho Renge Kyo. We believe if you get a better understanding of the words, it will motivate you to want to chant because chanting is the correct practice and teachings as taught by 
Shaka Mooney Buddha. Now, there is a go show called White Horses and a White Swan, and it reads, quote, the word Namu expresses feelings of reverence and a sense of compliance. Therefore, the vulnerable Ananda placed Namu above the two characters, meaning, quote, this of uh, this is what I heard, which he wrote at the beginning of all sutras. The great teacher Nan Yoe employed the words Nam Yohoringe Kyo and the great teacher Tentai the words Keshu Nam Yohoringe Kyo. Keshu means devotion. Please understand that Namu means also a sense of reverence. You reverence, it's like when you pray to God, you have a reverence or you have a respect. In the Go Show opening of the eyes, it reads, Correct is the same as Myo. Wonderful, Myo. Myo is the same as correct. Hence, the Lotus Sutra of the correct law and the Lotus Sutra of the wonderful law. And when the two characters for Namu are prefixed to Myoho Renge Kyo or the Lotus Sutra of the wonderful law, we have the formula for Namu Myoho Renge Kyo. Let us understand chanting with logic and doctrine. The word myo is the same as correct. When we add the word namu, we come up with the formula of namu myoho renge kyo. Please understand that Nichiren writes the word namu. We learn that Namu comes from the Pali word Namo. In regards to black people, it is not just Oriental or Asian, but the word Namu comes from the black language of Pali. Now, in regards to Myoho Renge Kyo, these are Chinese words. In regards to Buddhist history in India, Buddhists were black people. The Buddhists were killed. And Mahayana Buddhism is the time when Buddhism moved from black to white. The Indian, the Kushan king, King Kanishka, conquered India. He was a white guy with a Greek heritage and he conquered it. He was introduced to Buddhism by Ashwagosha. And he changed everything. They changed everything from black to white. Now, let us look at facts in history. There exists no copy of the Lotus Sutra older than the Chinese versions. Please understand that in India, the Buddhists were killed. Sutras were destroyed. What happened was Mahayana Buddhism did get out of India to Asia. Let us learn about the translation of the Lotus Sutra from the Indian, Indian language to Chinese. Now, the version of Myoho Renge Kyo comes from Chinese and not Sanskrit. Let us read the words of Bertrand Watson who translated the Lotus Sutra in English. Now, this is what Bertrand Watson writes. Why one may ask if the Lotus Sutra is the work of Indian Buddhism, has the translation been made from Kumara Jiva? Chinese translation of the text rather than, one, than from one of the Sanskrit versions. First, as already mentioned in my introduction, though we do not know 
what language the Lotus Sutra was first composed in, it was clearly not Sanskrit, and therefore the Sanskrit versions of the text are already several steps removed from its first written form. Second, none of the extant Sanskrit versions are as early in date as Kumar Jeeva's Chinese translation done in 406. And all but the earliest differ in some respects from his version. Now, unquote. Now, the SGI, Nutrient Show Shoe, and Nutrient Shoe, and many white people promote Sanskrit or white superiority. You should know that Yoho Binge Cho has nothing, absolutely nothing to do with Sanskrit. We mentioned early that the word Myo means correct. Let us look at more deeper meanings of the word Myo. Let us look at how Nichiren describes it in the Go Show. Now, there's a Go Show called the Daimoko of the Lotus Sutra, and it reads, quote, Coming now to the character Myo. The Lotus Sutra says, This sutra opens the gate of expedient means and shows the form of true reality. Unquote. He goes on further. The great teacher Chang states, Myo means to reveal the depths of the secret storehouse. The great teacher Milo says, quote, it means to, re to reveal means to open. Hence, the character Myo means to open. Unquote. Now, let's take this thing further. In the Ghost Show, the Daimoko of the Lotus Sutra, Tentai says, quote, The Ishatikas, or persons of incorrigible disbelief, nevertheless have minds, so it is still possible for them to attain Buddhahood. But persons of the two vehicles have alienated consciousness and therefore cannot arouse the mind that inspires enlightenment. And yet the Lotus Sutra can cure them, which is why it is called Myo or Wonderful. Milo says the reason that other sutras are called great but not Myo is simply that it is easy to cure those who have a mind, but difficult to cure those who are without a mind. Because it, the Lotus Sutra, can cure what is thought to be incurable, it is called Myo or Wonderful. Now, it goes on further. In the Ghost Show, the entity of the mystic law reads, quote, The great teacher Nayue says, Question, what does Myo holding Gecho represent? Answer, Myo indicates that all living beings are Myo, or mystic. Ho indicates that all living beings are Ho, or the law. Tentai also says the law of all living beings is mystic. Now, let's take this thing a little bit further. Now, there's a ghost show called on the 18 perfections. And in this ghost show it reads, quote, the overall theory of the five major principles means the five major principles represented by the five characters Myo, Myo, Ho, Rin, Ge, Cho. Thus, Myo is the name. Now, Ho is the entity or essence Ren, the quality, gay, the function, and cho, the teachings. Also, there are two types of general theory 
regarding the five major principles. The first is the five major principles as they pertain to the Buddha's intention. The second is the five major principles as they pertain to the capacity and feelings of the individual believer. Now, the goal show, it further reads, these five types of vision are the Buddha eye, which is Myo, the Dharma eye, which is Ho, the Wisdom eye, which is Ren, the Heavenly eye, which is Gay, and the eye of ordinary mortals, which is Kyo. Myo is the Buddha eye. Now, Nitrin further writes. Now he says, Myo means inconceivable and therefore it corresponds to true non-substantiality and tranquility, which is the Buddha eye. Ho is designated discrimination and therefore it corresponds to Dharma which is temporary in nature and embodies discrimination. The wisdom eye corresponds to non-substantiality being the embodiment of effects and it is represented by Ren. Gay represents function and therefore it is designated the heavenly eye which is the function of conversion exercised by transcendental powers. Now, Kyo means to smash delusion and because it deals with delusion it is designated the eye of ordinary mortals. Unquote. Now, there's another ghost show. Now, this ghost show is called Letter to Gijobo, and it reads, The great teacher of Mount High, Dingo, journeyed to China and received instructions on the point of this passage, quote, single of single manly means the one pure way in mind, means all phenomena. That is why the great teacher, Tentai, explaining the Chinese character for mind and said the four brush strokes represents the moon and the stars and that this implies that the mind of the effect of Buddhahood is pure and clean. I, Nitrin says that single stands for no or mystic, mind for ho or law, desiring for ren, or lotus, sea for gay, or flower, and Buddha for kyo, or sutra. And propagating these five characters, practitioners should not hesitate, even if it costs them their lives. Now, thus far, we've told you about the words namu, and Myo. You can write a book on this Myo. It also teach what we at the Proud Black Buddhist call God. We say God or Myo or God is Myo. When we chant Namu Myo, in a way we are in essence saying I devote myself to God. We call God Myo. Let us now get into the depths or teach you the meaning of the word ho. Now, one word that black people use is ho. The brothers know ho. The brothers call the women a ho. Santa says ho, ho, ho. Now, we are going to teach you Buddhism the black style and teach you the meaning of the word ho of Namu Myo Ho. Let's teach you the meaning of the word Ho. Let's look at the word Ho. Now, the brothers in the hood 
know about a hoe. Actually, in the Buddhist word yoho or nam yoho, ho and ho is actually the same thing. A ho and ho is the same thing. See, ho, see, yo is death. Ho is life. All the actions that you do are the ten worlds and the ten aspects. That's ho, or the way life manifests itself. So, in terms of a woman, if a woman manifests herself as a whole, that really is ho, because that's yo ho. It doesn't represent everything, but ho and ho is the same thing. Now, I know it's funny, but this is a black explanation of Buddhism. Now, let's give you a more technical explanation. Now, in the Go Show, the entity of the mystic law reads, Tentai commented, all phenomena consisted of the ten factors, ten worlds, and three thousand realms are the entities of the Lotus Sutra. Now, the great teacher Nauye says, question, what does Yoho Renge Ko represent? Answer, Myo indicates that all living beings are Myo or mystic. Ho indicates that all living beings are Ho or Law. Tenta also says the law of all living beings is mystic. Further, in the ghost show of the entity of the mystic law reads, quote, Question, how do we know that these two interpretations can be used and that the title can be taken as both entity and metaphor. When the great teacher Nayue explained the five characters, Myoho Renge Kyo, he said, quote, Myo indicates that all living beings are Myo or mystic. Ho indicates that all living beings are Ho or Law. Now, Renge or lotus is a metaphor that is employed here. It, it would seem that it would seem then would not that both Naye and Tenta interpret the Lotus Sutra as a metaphor. Unquote. Now, in the Go Show, it's called the Heritage of the Ultimate Law of Life, and it reads, quote. I have just carefully read your letter to reply the ultimate law of life and death as transmitted from the Buddha to all beings is Myoho Renge Kyo. The five characters of Myoho Renge Kyo were transferred from Shakyamuni and many treasures the two Buddhas inside the treasure tower, two bodhisattvas, superior practices, carrying on a heritage unbroken since the infinite past. Myo represents death and whole life. Living beings that pass through the two phases of life and death are the entities of the ten worlds or the entities of Myoho Renge Kyo. Now, let us get a clear vision of Ho. Ho represents life. Newton explains in the Go Show, letter to Gojobo, that Ho represents the mind. Now, in the Go Show, letter to Gojobo reads, that is why the great teacher Tenta explains the Chinese character for mind, said that its four brush strokes represents the moon and three stars, that this implies that the mind or effect of Buddhahood is pure and clean. I, Nitrin, say that single stands for myo or mystic mind for hope or law, desiring for red, or lotus, see for gay, 
or flower and Buddha for Kyo or Sutra. So the mind and actions or the effect that is whole. Now, let us get a clearer understanding of what exactly the word Ho is. In the ghost show on attaining Buddhahood, in this lifetime it reads, Newton writes this about Ho, quote, The mind cannot be considered to exist, to either exist or not exist. Life is indeed an elusive reality that transcends both words and concepts of existence and non-existence. It is neither existence nor non-existence, but exhibits the qualities of both. It is the mystic entity of the middle way that is the ultimate reality. Myo is the name given to the mystic nature of life and whole to its manifestations. Renge, which means lotus flower, is used to symbolize the wonder of this law. Unquote. He goes on further. We learn that whole is the manifestation of life. In the ghost show, it's called the meaning of the sacred teachings in the Buddha's lifetime. It reads this about hope. With regard to the word hope, profound meaning says, what is meant by hope is the ten worlds and ten factors, existences that are both provisional and true. Unquote. Oh, and it also says, quote, to define the proper relationship between provisional and true. This is termed whole or law. Now, the word whole means ten worlds and the ten factors. If you are trying to really understand the meaning of nam yo ho renge kyo, it is not as easy as you can imagine. I have never in my life known of such a complicated word. In the Go Show call, establishing the correct methods of contemplation reads, quote, The Buddha speaking of this wonderful law in the Lotus Sutra says, quote, This law attained in the place of practice. Quote, my law is wonderful and difficult to ponder. Quote, this law is not something that can be understood through pondering. It cannot be explained in words. Tenta states, quote, the character of myo or wonderful means that which is beyond ordinary comprehension, beyond the power of words to describe, beyond the scope of the mind to imagine. Ho, or law, means the doctrine of the ten worlds and the ten factors of the oneness of cause and effect. Now, in the ghost show on 18 perfection it reads, the five major principles of the Buddha's intention are endowed with five types of vision that characterize the enlightenment of the Buddhas and which are represented by the five characters Myoho Renge Kyo. These five types of vision are the Buddha Eye, which is Myo, the Dharma Eye, which is Ho, the Wisdom Eye, which is Ren, the Heavenly Eye, which is Gay, and the eye of ordinary mortals, which is kyo. Myo means inconceivable, and therefore it corresponds to true non-substantiality and tranquility, which is the Buddha eye. Ho is designated discrimination, therefore it corresponds to the Dharma eye, which is temporary in nature and embodies discrimination. Now, 
the Go Show, the doctor of the 3000 Rim says this about hope. When we chant this Yo Ho Renge Kyo, the Buddha of original enlightenment present, present in our lives becomes manifest. Our bodies and minds are comparable to the storehouse of the teachings and the word myo is comparable to the seal that per permits the opening of the storehouse. Thus, the commentary of Tentai states, quote, To reveal the depths of the secret storehouse, this is called myo or wonderful. To define the proper relationship between the provisional and the true, this is termed whole or law. Now, thus far, we as a black Buddhist teacher have given you an in-depth explanation based on the Go Show of the words Namu and Myoho. Let us explain based on the writings of Nitrin and the Go Show, Rin, Gay and Kyo. Let us start by explaining the meaning of Rin. Now, in the Go Show on 18 Perfections it reads, Question, where does the doctrine of the 18 Perfections derive from? Answer, it has its source in the single character Rin or Lotus. We understand that the word Rin means lotus. Now, in the Go Show on 18 Perfections, and I want you to read this Go Show, it gives us further information. It says, quote, Question, what do these names mean? Answer, these are explained in the commentary by the great teacher Dingyo, which says, quote, Next are the five major principles as they apply to the character Ren or Lotus. The word Ren indicates that the flower is the cause and fruit, the effect that results from it. The word Ren is used because it signifies the 18 perfections. Now, it says, quote, the first is called the perfection of universal truth because all phenomena in the end are identical with the universal truth that is the essential nature of all beings. In the universal truth of the imperishable nature all phenomena achieve perfection. Hence, the universal truth is called red or it's called Lotus. Now, we know now that the universal truth is Ren. Now, the Go Show on 18 Perfections gives us a more deeper understanding. It reads, quote, The second is called the perfection of religious practice because by carrying out the two types of practices, those that relate to the form and those that relate to formlessness. One can achieve perfection in all practices. Hence, religious practice is called red or lotus. So when you get in front of the Gohanzan and you chant or you chant or you practice in Buddhism, this is red. It goes on further. The third is called perfection of the function of conversion because the fundamental nature of the mind contains within it the various casual factors for attaining Buddhahood. By means of these factors, one is capable of performing the function of converting others to the truth. Hence, the function of converting is called lotus. What do we learn about Ren? Ren is the function of converting others to this Ren or lotus. 
when you tell someone about Buddhism, this is red. Let's go a little bit deeper into understanding the word Ren. We got Namu Myoho Ren. Let's go into a little deeper explanation of Ren. Now, in the Go Show on the 18 Perfections, it reads, Next, as the function of Ren, it is so called because of the constant function of conversion that is carried out by virtue of the perfection of the six stages of practice. Goes on further. Next, as to the teachings of Ren, the Buddha eternally endowed with the three bodies abiding in the lotus nature of the sea of effects constantly expounds the undefiled law, manifesting the eight phases of the Buddha's existence and reciting the four phrases chanted when attain, attaining the way. It goes on further. The Reverend Priest has said, the eight phases of attaining the way refer to the Buddha eternally endowed with the three bodies and the recitation of the four phrases when achieving the way exist in the teachings of Ren. The eternally endowed three bodies are referred to as the Ren of original enlightenment. This is because one abides in this Ren of original enlightenment. Constantly discourses on the eight phases of the Buddha's existence and constantly expounds the four phrases recited upon the achievement of the way." Unquote. Now, when you correctly practice the Buddha's teachings, you gain the five types of vision. Now, they are, now in the Gold Show, on the 18 perfections, it tells about this, it reads, these five types of visions are the Buddha eye, which is Myo, the Dharma eye, which is Ho, the Wisdom eye, which is Ren, the Heavenly eye, which is Gay and the eye of ordinary mortals, which is Kyo. We learn that the wisdom eye is Ren. Now, we did a lecture on non-substantiality. We hope that you understand more about the wisdom eye. The Go Show on the 18 Perfection reads, quote, The wisdom eye corresponds to non-substantiality being the embodiment of effects, and it is represented by Ren. Now, the Go Show on 18 Perfections read, it reads, quote, question, what is the general theory of the five major principles? Answer. The overall theory of the five major principles means the five major principles represented by the five characters Myo, Ho, Rin, Ge, Kyo. Thus, Myo is the name. Ho is the essence. Rin is the quality. Ge is the function. And Kyo, the teachings. Also, there are two types of general theory regarding the five major principles. The first is the five major principles as they pertain to the Buddha's intention. The second is the five major principles as they pertain to the capacity and feelings of the individual believer. Now, we have given you an idea 
of the meaning of Ren. Thus far, we've covered Namu Nyoho Ren. Now, let's conclude this lecture explaining the meanings of gay and Joe. The word gay in Namu Nyoho Renge Kyo is not 100% gay as being partial in a sexual orientation. However, there is a relationship. Now, we like to teach Buddhism in a common sense way. There is a Buddhist female who I communicate with often, and now this woman is gay. She's gay. Now, there is a correlation to her being gay and Buddhism's gay. In the Go Show on the 18 perfections read, thus Nyo is the name. Ho is the entity or essence, Rin the quality, Gay the function, and Kyo the teachings. Now, whatever way phenomena manifest, this is gay or in effect. In the Go Show, letter to Ki Jobo reads, quote, I Nitrin say that single stands for Myo or mystic mind for Ho or law reads uh, law desiring for Ren or lotus for say and gay or flower and Buddha for Kyo or Sutra. Now, in the Go Show, King Render reads, quote, If we discuss the matter from the point of the doctrines taught, refer to Damoku or title of the Lotus Sutra, which is what is meant by the doctrines taught. The words opening provisional corresponds to the character gay and the five character Damoku. Myoho Ringe Ko, the words revealing the distant corresponds to the character Rin and the five character Damoku. The words it alone is permitted, the word Myo corresponds to the character Myo. In the words, this is the reason, refer to the fact that when we speak of the Lotus Sutra, as the essence of lifetime teachings of the Buddha, we have in mind the Dhammoku of the Lotus Sutra. Therefore, one should understand that the Dhammoku of the Lotus Sutra represents the soul of all the sutras. It represents the eye of the sutra. Now, we have at this point given you a detailed explanation of Namu Myoho Renge Renge. Now let us bring this lecture to a conclusion by explaining the word Kyo. Now, this is very important that you understand the word Kyo. Kyo is so important in understanding the Lotus Sutra because Kyo represents all of the teachings in the universe. It goes from Einstein to Maya Angelou. It doesn't matter. All universal teachings, everything in the world and all the teachings of the Buddha and non-Buddhist teachings is the meaning of Kyo. So when you chant Nam Moon Yoho Renge Kyo, you encompass this, all the teachings. It's not like how the Japanese sects teach that extricate a particular culture, but Kyo means all of the teachings. That's why the Lotus Sutra is so dynamic. Let's let you hear what Nitrin and how he explains Kyo. Now, in the Go Show, it's called the Damoku of the Lotus Sutra, it reads, quote, With 
within the single character Kyo are contained all the sutras in the worlds throughout the ten directions. It is like a wish granting jewel that contains within it all manner of treasures or the vastness of space that encompasses all phenomena. And because this single character Kyo of Myoho Renge Kyo is the supreme achievement of the Buddha's lifetime of teachings, the other four characters, Myoho Renge, likewise, surpass all the other 80,000 doctrines that the Buddha taught. Since I've joined in that thing, I have changed my views of society and I have rekindled my desire to attain the American doctrine. Now, go, it's the way in which you go. Now, go, it's the way in which you go. Now, go, it's the way in which you go. Now, go, it's the way in which you go. Now, go, it's the way in which you go. Now, go, it's the way in which you go. Now, go, it's the way in which you go. I found myself a brand new mission to help others make a big decision to bring to you a spiritual religion. It's not the religion that you expect, it's only what the law of the cause and effect. The virtues in the middle of the call of teaching, we do a lot of wisdom preaching. No more life with any drama. We change the words and change our karma. We bring to you the new good way. We bring to you the new way to pray. After long prayers, a lot of meditation, I bring to you the Buddha's conversation. We can change our human relation. We bring to you the culture integration. It's about peace and love and change the situation. This channel in Buddhism makes a lot of sense. It's about self development and enlightenment. I made the decision to join the Buddha way. I joined the Buddha said, go ahead and say, Buddha's new to America and like a tree. What the words of the China and Function to the middle of the call of the teacher. A different learning from a Christian preacher. Buddha's religion just makes a lot of sense. Self development and enlightenment. The the coming of Buddha's head is a good decision. Look at yourself and find the inner wisdom. The function to the middle of the call of the teacher. While we only have Japanese preaching, the Buddha's religion is the way to go. I will find our leader in Tokyo. I want him to Buddha away. They should, I should follow him say, I no longer do it his way. Went to a temple called Tasek Chi. The courage of the temple don't relate to me. In 2014, I left the Buddha temple. I teach the Buddha, that's more simple. Let you shoot man that you don't have the knowledge. I want you to check my logic. The only way I teach Buddhism, I give the people a good rhythm. I'm not like a priest at the temple. I teach Buddhism and make it simple. You don't need a cutter to explain it. Sing it and dance in the middle of the language. Don't you turn with around the color of the teacher? We teach it with the wisdom preaching. We can teach the wisdom all of the on it. We follow the wisdom that you not shown it. Teach with us if you don't need a mouth. We know how to sing and rap. Let me bring some good news to you. We try to the Lord of Sutra. You don't have to practice here or after. Just do the second and sixteen chapters. You don't have a person be in my Learn the Lord of Sutra title. Lump your whole ring get cold. That's the way that you call my go. Lump your whole ring get cold. That's the way that you call my go. I don't care how the Japanese do it. I'm gonna put a little soul to it. I don't give a damn. You don't agree. I put the way that's really me. I respect and love you. I'm gonna practice up Buddhism with my own culture. I know you hate my dance and all the jerking. You're really gonna be upset when I start my twerking. We don't follow the rules and we do no rehearsing. The Buddhists don't follow the law and no persons. I don't care if a Buddhist practice don't suit you. We follow the law of law and the law of sutra. Come on, go. Now, 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 go
make your karma go. No more in gate door. It's the way to make your karma go. No more in gate door. It's the way to make your karma go. No more in gate door. It's the way to make your karma go. No more in gate door. It's the way to make your karma go. No more in gate door. It's the way to make your karma go. No more in gate door. It's the way to make your karma go. No more in gate door.